what's good my people what's up here to finally make another video today i'm gonna talk about the lebron james and the stefan curry drummer man isn't this a drummer or what this is like a soap opera it's like watching all my children and young and the wrestlers combined it's just getting ridiculous i've 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 got a headache because of all this nonsense spewing all this ridiculous talk about who should be the MVP, okay? It's quite obvious that Stephon Curry deserves the MVP. Look, he helped lead, lead this team to a historic, unprecedented 73-win mark. And come on, people. Look, Stephon Curry is the best player in the game. I mean, overall, he he has the numbers to, to, to show for it. You know, he's a, he's a scrawny combo guard. He's a pure shooter. He's probably the best shooter in the game today. It's as if this guy has a backboard in his backyard, which I would not be surprised. And he just practices his shot every day of the week, all night when he's not playing ball in the offseason. That's probably what this guy spends his time doing. Look, folks, LeBron James is eating sour grapes. Look, it's okay to eat sour grapes. It is okay. Look, sour grapes taste great, right? They taste really good. I understand if LeBron is jealous and envious. Look, I'm an aspiring sports writer. I, I want to be a journalist. I want to be a, a, a radio personality here in Los Angeles based in, you know, based here at home. And, you know, there are people that I'm jealous of. There's people that I'm very envious of. And, and you know, jealousy is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. I know there are a lot of people that would disagree with me, but jealousy is not a bad thing at all. If LeBron is jealous, then hell, okay, fine. He's jealous. It's okay. Okay, and it's understandable because this was a guy who was sitting at the top of the NBA. He was sitting on top of Mount Rushmore of NBA players, and now he's been knocked down, Peg. Here comes Stephon Curry out of nowhere to take his throne. Okay, look, people, th this is... This is this is the NBA. There's a lot of ego. Look. <laughs> and there's a lot of egomaniacs in this league. And LeBron is one of them. Okay? Okay, this is a guy who is already despised by many after leaving Cleveland. After he announced on, on national TV that he was leaving Cleveland for Miami. When he said he was taking his talents to Soft Beach, a lot of people have forgiven him for that, but they have not forgot that moment, okay? So look, people, LeBron is not the most likable player. Yes, Stephon Curry is more likable than he is. And yes, Stephon Curry, you know, got unanimous votes to win the MVP award, becoming the first player in, in league history to accomplish such a feat. And I applaud him for that. You know, he he's a damn good player. Uh, of course, LeBron is right about... He, he might have a, a, a valid argument here about that he's the most... That he's also the most valuable player because every team has a player that's most valuable, okay? And yes, LeBron is valuable to the Cleveland Cavaliers. There's no doubt about it. He's valuable to that team. Without him... Cleveland would not be where they are. They would not be in the Eastern Conference Finals waiting for Miami or Toronto to finish up their series. There's no way. Without LeBron, you don't get you don't get to the Eastern Conference Finals. You don't even get to the NBA Finals a year ago. And and again, yes, LeBron is bitter. He's envious. Think about it. Stephon Curry is a guy that stopped him from getting his third championship ring a year ago. The Warriors are the team that beat him. And then the following day, he's going to say that he thinks that Terry Stout, the coach, if I pronounced his last name right, I think I did, Portland's coach, deserve the honors. And, you know, understandable. Again, this is a guy that's upset that his team got his ass whooped a year ago to the, to the Golden State Warriors. It's no other way around it. But... To think that Stephon Curry does not deserve the Most Valuable Player Award is just 
ignorance. Okay, that's just flat out ignorance. Okay, look, folks, it's unbearable. It's egregious. It's egregious of LeBron to 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 feel this way. It's it's very egregious. Okay, of him to to feel this way. But hey, that's the type of guy he is. He's a competitor. I'm sure he wanted to win the award himself. And yes, he is, again, the most valuable player to his team. Look, these two guys are distinctively valuable. Distinctively valuable to their teams. And if they meet again in the finals, it's going to be one of those epic matchups. And to put an end to all this, if LeBron really wants to put an end to all this, Win the NBA Finals. Shut everybody up by winning the NBA Finals. That's the only way he's going to put an end to all this. I think the matchup is going to be extraordinary. And I think if these two teams meet in the NBA Finals, it's going to be a damn good series. It's going to be probably a seven-game series for sure. But these players are, again, distinctively valuable to their teams. Look, Stephon Curry, again, like I said earlier, he's... The best shooter in the league. LeBron is not as good of a shooter as Stephon Curry. No, he's not. But he's a great playmaker. He's, uh, you know, has no trick passes. You know, he's he's just a, a team player. He's uh, he's an athletic ring, wing, you know, with the body of a power forward. He's done things on the court that he he's he he's done things on the court that a forward can't do. He's um he's a mismatch uh to a lot of uh opposing players. It's hard to guard him, it's hard to defend him. You know, he's he's an all-around forward who plays like a guard. You know, um he he's he's a great scorer because of his because of his ability to get to the basket, to draw fouls, to make his teammates better, to space the floor with his ability to make plays, create scoring opportunities for his player, for his for his teammates and his players. He's that damn good of a player. So is he the best player all around? Probably so. But the best player in the league this year, the most valuable player, is no doubt. It's no doubt it's Stephon Curry. And, you know, he's going to have to live with it. And if he feels that he was, if he feels that he was snobbed because, you know, he didn't even finish finish a runner-up. That was Kawhi Leonard who finished runner-up. But if he feels again, if he feels that he was robbed of the award, which it sounds like he feels that way, then, you know, bring it. Bring your A-game in the NBA Finals if they meet the Golden State Warriors and, and show everybody that you're the most valuable player if you feel that way. But that, that's the only way you're going to put an end to this. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Enjoy your day. It's a gloomy Saturday here, but I'm about to uh, head out to the beach today. Go chill at Venice Beach with my girl and have a good time and Find something to do only in Southern California. I'll see you guys uh, in my next video. I am out.